So today, Nemo is going to be showing us how to cook Kenyaji chicken with onion, tomato, garlic, herbs and spices. The first step is usually to saute yeah. kukaranga. Mm -hmm. To saute, I'm going to press menu number five. Mm -hmm. We are going to start with browning the chicken. Mm -hmm. right. It helps in um, creating a good base for your soup. Mm -hmm. These ones are ready now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to remove them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put them on this sufuria. Yes. We are going to saute the onions mm -hmm. okay. uh, to just make them a little bit brown. Right. I'm going to add my garlic now. I'm going to throw mm -hmm. a stump of ginger. Add in my tomatoes, mm -hmm. the dania. Add the chicken. Yeah? Mm -hmm. right. Add in one full cup of water to slightly cover your food, a little bit of salt mm -hmm. to taste. Mm -hmm. And ensure there is a good mix. And Close it with a pressure cooker lid. Right. A well done kuku kenyeji takes 40 minutes. Right. Once pressure has built in completely, this pin right. it will come up. Mm -hmm. And until the timer has ended, that's when it will go down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it is cooking through pressure. It's now cooking with the pressure. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Just 40 minutes later and it's all done. And it looks wonderful. I can't wait to try it. Mmm, delicious. Mm, really, really nice. Mm. nice. Good, it's really good. Huh? Very nice. I really mm. taste you. This must be one of the best chicken kenyeji I've ever tested. 